Hey everybody, I'm Matt Schacha. I've been invited to the studio in Paris, along with some other community members, to see what's new in the world of Ghost Recon. So let's check it out. Well, we've been invited as a, as a group of gamers to come over to Ubisoft Studios in Paris to meet the, the Ghost Recon development team. So we had a, a, a chance to meet the producer yeah, and all the guys. We met the whole development team and said thanks to them. It's been a great visit. We've been doing so and having workshops and giving feedback on different subjects that the devs want our input on. We met, had breakfast with Eve uh, this morning and we were able to ask him some questions. And it was really cool for me to be able to see the, the CEO of a billion euro company talking to some gamers about you know, what they like and what they want out of a game. We kind of sat down with a little bit of an introduction interview to the, uh, I guess with the developers this morning, and they kind of went over the game with us, the, the general overview and all that, and then we got to sit down and actually play, the, play a demo. I like the openness and that you can do the missions in the, the order that you want to, like in the old games. It's a throwback and back to the roots in that respect. Open world, it's, it's a good idea, but it's, it's a huge, huge step for Ghost Recon, for sure. I'm excited, but it's going to be different. I was blown away by the, like, the scope and the scale of the, the map and everything like that. Uh, just, you, can go, you can go everywhere. Like, we jumped in a helicopter and we, we took off and we, we flew for like, you know, minutes. Doesn't seem like a long time, but when you're in a helicopter, you're actually covering a lot of ground and we still didn't even hit the, the edge of the map. And, uh, it, it was awesome, the, the scenery looks amazing, the map itself looks, looks amazing. As a player, I can just play the way I want, and I can get in with my buddies and we can do it how we like, we can approach it how we like, so. You're not being driven down rails. It feels again like you're a proper player. It doesn't feel like you're in some interactive movie. I'm a big fan of co-op and um, I, I was really hoping for something like this where you know, buddies can jump in and just play for a while and if they jump out, they jump back out. It's not, it's not, uh, you know, oh, we all have to get into a lobby, make sure we have four guys and go. Co-op's always been a big, big part of, uh, of Ghost Recon, so I was pleased today that that was the focus today was co-op. It, it was pleasing to see that it's been a large focus of, um, obviously, the, the development process has been on co-op play. Um, so yeah, four of us playing co-op, not a problem. Um, communicate very quickly, communicating, um, because although it's different from earlier Ghost Recons, due to the scope of it, it's still Ghost Recon, a squad-based tactical shooter. The co-op co is going to be amazing. There's a mission where we have to attack, destroy des antennes of uh, communication. And in fact, it will have a certain impact on the les, les uh, avoisinants. C'est-à-dire que en détruisant ces antennes, eh bien, euh, quand on ira attaquer euh, un campement aux alentours, ils ne pourront, ils ne pourront pas euh, faire venir des renforts parce que euh, les communications sont coupées et donc ils seront livrés à eux-mêmes. I'm a huge vehicle fan. I'm a huge fan of helicopters and aircraft and stuff like that. So I was pumped to see that Ghost Recon has brought aircraft into the game and not only did they bring them in uh, but they've got them operating with AI and you know your players and all that kind of stuff you can get in them you can uh, you can see the AI fly around with them and stuff like that and the, the non-player characters and they actually they work really well with them so that's that was probably one of my favorite favorite features this is a game that we would have had I think if they could have made it when the original Ghost Recon came out, it really is feeling like it's a, it's a Ghost Recon game. This is the natural progression for it. This open world where it's still up to you and it's up to the player. It's nice to see them get back to that. I'll say, community, this is the game you've been asked for. I sent that there's a real experience derrière. You guys are going to be excited. If you enjoy open world games in the Tom Clancy universe, like the previous games, you're going to enjoy this one with your friends. Ah ouais, le jeu, franchement, il est génial. Ils vont vraiment s'amuser. You guys need to be really pumped for this game. It's it's probably the most fun that I've had with a Ghost Recon game since probably Gra 2. You guys you guys don't even know what Ghost Recon is like when you've just got almost infinite map coverage to just go and explore. It's it's super fun. It's going to open up all sorts of uh, different uh, opportunities within the game, gameplay-wise. Very interesting, and I'm very excited to see where Ubisoft's going to take it. 
You guys are gonna love it. It's insane. The size alone of the, the world that you get to play around in and the toys at your disposal is, is insane. It's gonna blow your mind. Thank you, devs.